so as you could tell from the video title today you are going to be seeing our apartment tour and it's been our most highly requested video since moving to New York so I'm really excited to show you guys today and look who's making an appearance for the first time in when was the last time you were in a video with me? Uh, well, I did the gallery wall. Oh, well, you see him in the gallery wall video, but it's oh, no. your first oh, wow. time. It's your first time talking in a video in a really long time. So Nick and I have been in our little New York apartment for over a year now. We just hit our one year mark um, a few weeks ago, so that's really exciting. We're definitely proud that we made it in New York for a year. A little small, but. Yeah, it's a little small. It's definitely different from what we were used to in college <laughs> and growing up. Um, just to give you some more information on our, on our apartment, it's about 450 to 500 square feet, like more yeah. or less. The way that we sort of justify it and like why we really love our apartment so much is just because we live in an absolutely amazing neighborhood. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I'm always Instagramming pictures of, you know, just like the beautiful streets that we live on and just like our neighborhood and where I'm walking around every day. It's just a really, really great location and we love it. And I think we've made it really cozy and homey and I, I really like it. How about you? I agree. I like it a lot. Um, one of the big differences with our apartment too, compared to most small New York apartments, is the layout. Um, I mean, you'll see in the video obviously, but it's very separated. Most people have just a big square. You know, yeah. Two squares, bedroom, and General like living area. area and the kitchen is even tighter than ours which I mean ours is already really small so you know that's a big advantage we have in our apartment um, which is why you know I think it's worked out well so far I've been in so many other New York apartments where people you know are paying the same amount as us or even more and their apartment is like really crappy and they like look out the window and they see like a brick wall um, and they live and they don't live in like a good location we got really lucky so you guys will see so let us know what you think and hopefully you like the video. All right, let's get into it. Bye. Bye. All right, so we are going into the apartment. And this is what it looks like when you first step in. We have this really nice, long, but tight hallway. And as you can see, we keep all of our shoes here, which is nice, so they don't take up a ton of room in the apartment. And up top, you can see that we have these wooden beams which conveniently we use for storage we have just like extra bedding like extra clothing and suitcases and stuff like that up there i know it's not the nicest to look at you can see we have this nice exposed brick wall and it's probably like my favorite part or one of my favorite parts of the entire apartment because it's like very typical new york here's just an overview of our kitchen and when we moved in there were all these nails in the wall so we just decided to hang all of our pots and pans on them so they wouldn't take up room in our cupboards and our storage and actually i think it looks really cute and then um we just have these little art prints that my grandma got us from target and over there you can see is our microwave and our fridge and it's really tiny i don't know if you guys can tell but it's very like our stove and our oven and our fridge it's like they're very skinny like when Nick and I first moved in we thought like oh my gosh it looks like a dollhouse like everything's like so small there's our cupboards and obviously we keep food and plates and all of that good stuff in there and then I love this thing that I got from the container store this magnetic strip so we put all of our knives right there so we don't have to have one of those wooden blocks you know that takes up a ton of room on the counter and then we just have our wine um, and drinks glasses stored above and then there's our little sink but as you guys can see we don't have a dishwasher or a garbage disposal that's pretty normal for New York unless you live in a really nice apartment you're not going to get those amenities and it'll be really expensive if you do there is like our little like kitchen island and we just have drinks and odds and ends stored down there and if I turn this way you can see we have this storage right here, which is where we just obviously keep food and other kitchen necessities. This was already built in when we first moved into our apartment, so it was nice having the shelving. And then you can see there is our kitchen table that we don't even use. Nick and I just sit on the couch and eat, so we don't even use our kitchen table really. So here's just the wide overview of our apartment. I'm like standing in the kitchen area right now. Say hi, Nick. Hi. 
there's Nick, he's watching football. Okay, so I'll walk over to our closet area to give you guys just a better idea. Okay, so you probably saw in my closet tour, I showed my garment rack and I showed our closet. This is the only closet in our apartment. And when we first moved in, we only had one rod in the closet, but Nick installed like a second one. So all of my stuff is on the bottom and then his is at the top and we have a little bit more storage beneath and then up top in those cabinets there. And it took some convincing, but I convinced Nick to let me get a garment rack. So I have like a lot of my fall clothes that I've pulled out on there and just my bags. And then Nick has some of his suits for work. And you may recognize our gallery wall. I just put up a video the other week of how I created this wall and just where we got all the prints from and just, you know, sort of a how-to video. So I'll link that in the down bar below and then also in this video. So now I'm standing in the corner by the closet, and this is just what our living room looks like. I really like it because it's cozy and it feels very homey. Hi, Nick. Hi. This couch was passed down from my grandma. I have no idea where it's from. We took it from her basement when we moved in, but it's really comfy. Nick and I really like it. And I get a lot of questions about our carpet. I actually got this from Oversock.com. I think, God, how much did we pay for it, Nick? Like 200? 200, I think. Yeah, it was around $200, and I get a lot of compliments on it all the time. It's such a great carpet. Nick mounted our TV for us, and this is the same TV that I had when I was in college. And mounting it on the wall takes up a lot less room. So I'm really happy that we did that. And then we just have shelving. I know it's not like the most organized shelving. We just keep obviously all of like our electronics and like my camera equipment and stuff over there. So over here, we just have two more like small shelves on the wall above the couch and we just have like random photographs and prints and pictures on there that we've collected over in the corner by our windows. These curtains, these they were left by the previous person who lived in our apartment so we just kept those because I, thought, I think they're pretty cute. And then I just have like some little odds and ends on the windowsill. Down here I have a trunk thing that I actually got from Target. So it doubles as seating and you can like put pillows on it and stuff. But then inside I actually, we keep like t-shirts and like all of my jeans and stuff are in here. So over in this little area to the right of our couch, we just have like a little bookshelf and this is like where I keep all of my stuff, like my jewelry and little odds and ends and stuff. Down here, I organized all of my jewelry and my sunglasses and my clutches. And I got this really awesome, like, I guess little stand to keep all my bracelets on from Container Store. They have such good organizational stuff there. I definitely recommend that store. And then I keep like other bracelets and watches and then sunglasses back here. And then just going down, I just have my camera case. I have like two pairs of shoes here and then like my little hair ties and stuff and just keep going down. It's like more like random shoes and books and my camera. So moving into our bathroom, this is to the right of our TV. It's right off of our living room and it's really nice because a lot of New York apartments that I've seen, the bathrooms are right like when you first walk into the apartment. Like they'll be right off of the kitchen or they'll be in the bedroom and this is really nice because I wouldn't like it if like our bathroom was right off of our bedroom or right like near our doorway when you walk into our apartment that would just be weird I really like the setup of our apartment when you walk in oh this is so tiny I can barely fit it all okay so this is our window and it's also great that we have a window a lot of bathrooms that I've been in in New York apartments like they don't have windows in the bathroom so we're very lucky I just keep um, some hair supplies my combs um, right up against the windowsill and then this is just like a little sticker like a decal that the previous person who lived in our apartment left on the window I don't know I like it add some color there's our bath and shower and I'm not going to show you it because it's dirty and embarrassing and just across from the sink I just have a print that I got while I was studying abroad in South Africa we have another small little sort of I wouldn't even call it a closet it's very very tiny we just have cleaning supplies back there. And then the view from the back of our bathroom up there, Nick's dad put in that shelf. So we keep all of our towels and everything up there. So now I am going to take you guys into the bedroom. And this may shock some of you how small it is. It was definitely a shock to me when we first moved in. But there is our bed. The headboard is from Target. 
the bedding is from overstock.com and then I think those pillows are from One Kings Lane, that website. My grandma got them for us. So we'll walk in, you can see me in my selfie mirror that you may recognize from Instagram. So hi guys. Here's just what it looks like over there. We have our AC and that lamp and that bedside table I got from Target for pretty cheap. A lot of our furniture we really didn't spend that much money on um, just because we knew this was going to kind of be like our first like starter apartment. We didn't really want to spend too much money on it all. So that shade is from Urban Outfitters. I just or ordered it and then the blind um, is from, or the curtain is from Urban Outfitters and the blind is from Overstock.com. As you can see our bed basically touches the wall. And this is a full size bed, it's not even a queen size bed, so I have to deal with like Nick elbowing me at night. <laughs> and you can't even walk around our bed, like I can't like fit my body in here. Um, so this is very typical New York. I, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen many other apartments that like are the same price as mine that have more space. Um, it's really normal to have extremely small bedrooms, so if I want to like get to this bookshelf that I have over here, I have to actually like climb on my bed and get over it. Um, so there are just like little things that Nick and I got when we were in South Africa. Nick's family photos and of course my Twilight books and all my little girly books there and then just like a random box that has like headbands and random crap in it. I really love this bedside table from Target and that lamp. They're so pretty and so chic and so cheap at the same time. Oh and those little mirrors that are above our bed, I got those from Target too. I get like literally all of our home stuff from there. It's like the best place to get it from. So, yeah, guys, you can see our bed, our bedroom is very cozy. And, oh, over there, I'm really proud of my new necklace and nail polish organization. Nick installed all of that for me last weekend. I got that shelf and then that little thing that all my necklaces are hanging on from Container Store. So, it's definitely more organized because literally before I just had my necklaces just like in baggies or like just thrown in that bookshelf where my bracelets are and it was just so messy and disorganized so I just love how they're all hanging right there right now. Here I'll just do a little overview. Yeah like I have all of my just toiletries and stuff here like perfumes and lotions and then my new drawers from Muji which I love. I just think it looks so much more clean having all of my makeup in like an acrylic storage like this than those like cheap little like plastic boxes that you can get at like Target or Walmart. I like it so much better in here. I think it looks much you know, cleaner and like put together. And on the back of our door, we just keep more coats and robes and stuff like that. So that is the bedroom and our whole apartment. Oh, and if you guys can think of anything that we could put on this wall, let me know. Like in general, if you have any suggestions for us, please tell me because we just have this like blank wall right here and we don't know like what to do with it.